Fully, Honourable Member Mark Saban. Sorry, Mr Chair. Mike. Mike oh, Saban. sorry, Mike. We're both uh, former police officers, obviously both cut a fairly fine jib, sir. It's easy, <laughs> easy to see how one could get confused with these things. <laughs> I, I trifle with the House, sir. Uh, sir, I, I just want to touch on a couple of points that have been raised. The member, uh, Reno uh, Turakatni, raised um, what I think was a bizarre contribution. It was a long 10 minutes, sir. And he, he basically showed a couple of pictures of some friends who were wearing dark clothing. He suggested, which I think uh, was right on the limit, uh, that because they were Māori, that that somehow would have some impact on what the police may or may not be doing. And I strongly hope that the member wasn't going down that path, but it seemed to me that he was, sir. But, sir, he suggested that because they were Māori, because they had a black jacket on, uh, because they had some tattoos, and because they ride a motorbike, that suddenly they'd be captured in this bill and they're intimidatory and, uh, and he can't understand and it's all bizarre and confusing, much like his speech was. So, well, here's, here's, a, here's a little something for the House to consider. I'm Māori. I have tattoos. In fact, quite a few of them. I ride a motorbike, not well, I admit, and generally I like them to have four wheels, not two, because I find I can stay on them more, more stably. Uh, and I've also got a leather jacket. That happens to be black. Sir, so would I be captured in this bill? That's the question I would like to ask the member. Does that then mean that I'll be getting the once-over from the local constabulary because of that? Can the member ask that? Could be. And I don't look a, sh a shred intimidatory. I'm sure the mem member, Jacinda Ardern, will agree that I'm a very Gentile member of this House, sir. Very Gentile. <laughs> what is it I hear? What is it I hear coming from, from the cross benches? Sir, I, I pose the question uh, on, on, on this bill. What would the police say? Well, it just so happens, it just so happens there's the next leader of the Labour Party. He's wanting to get in before he gets his call. Oh, well, true, but there's more Davids than we shake a stick at to choose from. But I, I've, I'm backing that one. I'm backing that one. Not, cho not choose that one? No, wrong horse. Right, so I'll get back to the sir. The police, the police would rightfully have a, have a view on this, sir, because as a former police officer and working in the area of organised crime uh, for a number of years, and in particular working with the gang situation, uh, I think I can probably share a perspective from the police. And I wonder what they would have to say. Well, clearly, the police association wholeheartedly endorsed this, sir. The police are saying this is a good thing. It is not the panacea, and there is nothing to suggest that what this bill is about solving the gang problems, because actually the, the gang problem is a reflection of many other societal issues and many other problems and areas that I'll touch on that we're, that we're addressing, sir. But removing the gang, uh, gang signal, well, this bill itself is not about getting rid of the gangs per se. The police say it is a very good tool. And what I would ask members on the other side, is even at worst, if they think this is going to have little or no impact, even at worst, if it will have little or no impact, sir, it will certainly do no harm. And I, for the life of me, for, I, for the life of me, oh no, it's very harmful when we lock up a gang member for intimidating others by wearing his big mobster patch. That's a shocking thing to do. Sir, I, I, I question why it is that on that basis, that it would do, if even, if even we argue it has little benefit, it would do no harm, why they wouldn't support it. Sir, it just shows that they are disengaged with the views of New Zealanders, sir, because there's no New Zealanders that actually think going any way, anywhere in the area of being uh, soft on gangs or soft on crime or the Labour Party say, no, we're not doing that. But what does this actually say? Because if it's actually not doing anything other than giving the police the ability to arrest people when they actually think that they can intimidate others, when they can patch up and, and, uh, and gangster their way around town. And that happens frequently in my electorate, and I'm sure many electorates, uh, MP, uh, MPs here have had that issue in their constituency, uh, would attest. So it, it, it does pose that question, sir. And I just want to touch on uh, the other 
uh, point that has been raised that, oh, if they were serious about gangs, they'd actually be doing something about Chairman, gangs. Chairman, Chairman. I call the Honourable David Cunliffe. Thank you, Mr Chairman. The member who's just...